In order to connect your QuickBooks account to Dry Run, first log into your account or create a brand new account up here where it says start my free trial. And once you've signed into Dry Run uh, and have gone to your account screen, you can do that by clicking on your email address up here if you're on another screen. Go to the integrations page. Click connect next to QuickBooks. Sign into your account. And authorize Dry Run to use your account. And now you're connected to your QuickBooks account. You can see the name of the organization right here. And now if you go to your forecast, you can also click up here to get there. You can go into an existing forecast or you can create a brand new forecast. And to bring in your QuickBooks data, you bring it into individual scenarios. And in Dry Run, uh, you can have as many scenarios as you want and as many lines on the graph to represent each scenario as you, as you need. Go next to the title of your scenario and you'll see the QuickBooks icon in that title. And here you can decide exactly what you want to import. So we'll import uh, your invoices into the receivables area of Dry Run, your bills from QuickBooks into payables, and then you can pick uh, the date range that you would like to select. And click Import. And now your QuickBooks data has been imported. And now if I take a look, you can see here's some QuickBooks data uh, from the bills area. It actually is flagging which ones of our bills are actually overdue. And if we go into our receivables area, you'll also see which ones of our receivables are overdue. You can also see which ones of your invoices have been paid in stages. Here's a part one of two has been paid. Part two of two of this particular invoice is still unpaid and it's actually overdue. And over here, you'll see this green dot denotes that the invoice is still unpaid, but not yet overdue. And to refresh your data, you just simply uh, click on refresh data next time you log into Dry Run, and it'll update all of your information from QuickBooks. And if you have any questions, just use the chat bubble here to contact us.